Hello and welcome to Motorsport Manager Online. So I've decided to start this new series uh, with the online game and I want to do it as a free user. I suspect that most of you and most players uh, on this game are going to be free users and so I really want to see how far can we go, uh, how, how good can we get as a free user. So I've decided to, to start this series with that and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I did the tutorial, so I, I chose to go open wheel instead of the stock car. And uh, as per usual for my Let's Plays, I start with the open wheel, kind of your normal F series uh, type vehicle. Um, and so we did the tutorial and now we're at the first screen after the tutorial where we're going to set up our team. So let's check out our drivers. And it looks like Santa Ana has earned enough experience to be improved. So we have Evans and Santa Ana. Okay, so it looks like we can get points to upgrade our drivers, which is fairly normal for a motorsport manager game. Okay, choose which stats. So they only have six stats in this game versus I think it's 12 in Motorsport Manager 4 and it's probably the same in the PC game. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so we get to choose which stats we want to upgrade. And so let's upgrade the lowest ones. We definitely want smoothness because that tire wear will be a problem. Okay, let's see how this affects. Looks like she went up one, I believe. And let's replace so we can hire new drivers. This is the scouting screen. From here, you can see all of the drivers who are interested in signing with you. Okay, tap one of the drivers and we'll start negotiations. The higher the overall, the better the driver. Okay, that's really normal. Okay, so this is nice. It also gives us the traits um, on this column. So we have a leader. So once they're in first place, they get a nice boost. What's what's tenacious? Energy efficiency and performance are up. On the final lap, plus 10 overtaking and no tire wear. Okay, when not in first place. I like that. Because it will probably be, hmm, let me see. There's a bit of a difference in level and overall. So I'm thinking, do we take Carter Williams? How good is our team? That's the thing, right? Like we don't know how good our team is, but okay, let's go with Carter. Okay, this looks pretty normal in the negotiations. Instead of offering more money, let's offer them more support staff instead. Okay, contract length. Uh, let's also reduce the contract length by one race. Okay, so I do see that the contract length is by races versus seasons. Okay, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And the cost for them is for how many uh, races it they, they signed for and the support staff. I don't know how that works. I don't know how we're giving them 10 support staff, but we'll offer them a deal. Offer accepted. Ooh, that's a nice animation. Okay, let's get it signed. Yep, let's confirm replacement, even though Evans is a paid driver. I always like, oh, new driver. Oh, interesting, okay. Driver has been hired. Let's try them out in a full length race. Tap here to enter a race. We are in the rookie cup. Okay, so points available are 39, 40 points required. I don't know for what. We are at the Ardennes. OK, 
Okay, set up. Uh, Pre-race setup. From here, you have limited time to set the starting tires and get an overview. Okay, keep an eye on the timer. It reaches zero, all teams move to the qualifying phase. Okay, your starting tire impacts your qualifying position, so let's start on the fastest tires. Well, I can't switch first, okay. Your drivers are currently performing their qualifying laps, the driver's qualifying stat, and the car's performance both impact where the driver will place. Okay, so we're not actually going to be doing anything like setups, um, like the other motorsport man. Okay, so we qualified in first and second. So it looks like we have a pretty strong team here. It is kind of like the tutorial. So, okay, you're about to start your first full race. Don't forget to order your drivers to attack to get the most out of your tires. So it looks like right now, at least in this series, there is no refueling. There's, it also seems like they've combined, you can't attack with the engine either. Okay, so right now, we are in first and second, we're going to get 39 points, so the max we can get is 39 points, and we're currently getting 39 points. And, uh... You'll remember that Carter Williams, who's currently in first place, um, he gets 0.2 seconds faster per lap uh, when he's in first place as his trait. So he's starting to build a decent lead in first. Santa Ana here. Your tires are getting low. It's time for a pit stop. Okay. Although it's at 33, I feel like I could, I could push it. Let's get on hard tires, okay. Let's confirm. Okay, so Santa Ana's will, will stay. I wish uh, we started on hard then, if we could last the whole race. Although the rest of the teams seem like... Out comes Williams in second place. Santa Ana with an 18 second lead. Wow. So I I suspect, I mean, there's no way they're going to catch her. So Williams here. Yeah, he has a nice lead over third. I think should be okay. With a slow turn there, slow turn there. Lap. Push it the last lap, just to make sure uh, he stays in second. But again, I don't, I don't think we're getting caught. First and second. So nice. Very nice way to start our first race. Okay, so, so things are not too different from what we expect. Okay, you won the race. I mean, uh, I'm sure they made it a little bit easier as your first race. Uh, you won the race, let's go see how many championship points. Okay. Okay, this shows your current championship points. The higher your driver's place, the more points you receive. Once you earn enough points, you'll be able to promote out of this championship. This screen also tells you other important information, such as your race earnings, as well as any XP your drivers gained. When you're ready, tap the continue button. Okay, so we got uh, 150,000 for our race position. And yeah, that's really it. 
Okay, we get a new driver trait. He's happy. Lasts for 19 minutes. Okay, materials. It looks like you gained some materials from that race. Materials allow us to improve our car. Let's go and improve the car now. Okay, so it looks like... I don't know if it depends on where we finish. Um, but... We'll learn that as we go. So if we want to get better, we need to upgrade our parts. Upgrading parts improve user car performance. Okay. From here, we can see an entire breakdown of both cars. But for now, let's focus on upgrading our parts. Brakes design. Let's upgrade it. Okay. Upgrade it to level two. Okay, so upgrading parts is the best way to improve our car. Let's build the brakes now. Parts require staff and take time to build. You can either wait for the part or use paddock tokens to rush it. Okay, let's fit the part. Let's give the part to your new driver. They're more skilled and will perform better. Okay, so we'll select Carter and we'll assign great stuff let's try our new part in the next race tap the race button and we'll head to Tondela abrasive so, so the tires wear at a faster rate okay that's good to know Oh, there's water on track four here. Oh, water on track is zero. Okay. Soft and soft. Yeah, let's go. Continue. Oh, okay. So here we go. Power modes. To get the most out of your car, you'll need to use its power modes. Great. Don't worry. The driver will automatically switch to a lower power mode if they don't think the car will have enough energy to finish the race. Oh, that's nice. So... Carter drops to third place. Santa Ana still in second. Drops as well. Mike's Motors takes us to first. Okay, so I'm gonna actually leave this on high just so we can take a look at when they switch over. It looks like Mike's Motors starting to pull away. I'm wondering if he's going to be pitting at any point. Let's see. Okay, so he does. See if we pit at the same time what would happen if we're going to get stuck I see, okay, so they have changed. I didn't pay attention. Oh, we should, we should push, push our tires. 
Carter get into second place here on the last turn. Not. All right. Congratulations to Mike's Motors for the win. So we get 32 points. Third and seventh. Um, four laps. So. Hmm. So we'll need to really consider our. Hit strategy if these are going to be all like four lap races. We do get a promotion. And we do get uh, 200,000 for this race. So let's continue. Okay, tap the GMA spec cup to join your new championship. Okay, you're now going to be racing against real players. Okay, so it's time we gave your team a new name. All right, well. Uh, no. Racing. Make sure you're happy with the name. This is how other players will see you. Got it. You're almost ready to start managing on your own. Okay, before I leave you, one of your drivers needs your advice. Okay, we have a dilemma. Hi boss, our sponsors want me to do a press tour to gain extra cash, but I'm booked into an extensive training course to keep you informed. What should I do? Um, either plus 250K or temporary stat for Carter Williams. I would rather take the temporary stat. Now, we're, we're kind of unsure how uh, how much 250k is in this game, right? So in the normal motorsport managers, it's not that much. It's a decent amount, but it's not like, you know, something that we really need. But in this game, they may have changed things and, you know, it might, it might be a lot of money. So we won't take it for now. We'll, we'll take the temporary trade. get these you know, to, to do better in the race so oh this is money stuff Just, uh, okay so it looks like we can get free cash by watching some ads and video or oh, video rewards uh, the free cash might be like a daily thing let's see what this is that we're in these are our drivers and we need to get to tier two to unlock these other ones okay let's look at home. what tier are we in how do i see that your brakes part level is below the championship average okay you can build a part that would improve Santa Ana's car. Okay, so... Oh, we have two spec parts, nice. So, the way this works, I'm understanding, is... is that you upgrade the part level first, and then, depending on the part level, then you can build it. But uh, my also my guess also is that this cost will go up as well. Hmm. Now what I'm wondering is if we upgrade, let's say we upgrade to level five here, right? We upgrade to level five. Will I be able to build a level five part, or do I need to build a level two part, then a three, and then a four, and like basically my my max is level five, but I'll have to still work through those tiers. We'll find out. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it at that as our first video. I thank you so much for watching and uh, being on this uh, journey as well. And I will see you all next time.